Hello friends, in last lecture we have seen how we can write our first Java program. Now we are going to see how we can use data types and what are the da different data types Java allows. Let's see what data types Java provides us. Basically, uh, Java data types is being divided into primitive data types and non-primitive data types. In today's lecture, we are going to focus on primitive data types. So, any numerical data or non-numerical data can be stored in the primitive data types. Okay, so if I'm having a numeric uh, data type, uh, numeric data that can further divided into integers and floating points. Now, what do you mean by integer? Integers are normally whole numbers. That is any number without any decimal point. Okay. So, based on capacity, it is further divided by short, int and long. Each of them, each of these four is having some storage uh, capacity. Okay. And it is also having some range. We will see that range. Okay. Then we are having floating point uh, data types so in that we can store any real numbers we can store anything with the floating point decimal point okay so we can uh, have in that double and floats then non-numerical data types are available which is characters and booleans so let's have a look of each of them let's focus on integers first so what is integer integers are some uh, some numbers which doesn't have any decimal uh, decimal point inside it so what we can store in this uh, integers we can store age of a, um, uh, of an employee age of a person then we can store uh, what i can say um, if i want to add two numbers whole uh, whole numbers then we can store it inside integers okay so integer is for, uh, pro, uh, for providing four data types to us so that is long in short byte the so smallest one of that is a byte so byte uh, data type is taking storage capacity of eight bits okay and numbers range of a numbers which can go inside it is positive 128 to uh, sorry negative 128 to positive 127 okay any uh, what i can say com, uh, byte we can store inside byte data type like we know that byte uh, data type can store a combination of one and zeros also so next data type is a short data type uh, which is having 16 bit as a width and range starting with minus 32,768 uh, and positive 32,767. Then we are having integers that is taking 32 uh, bit storage capacity and having ranging uh, more data inside it. Then we are having long which is taking 64 bit and such a huge number huge range is allowed inside long okay so based on our requirement we can declare our variable in one of this we can see the examples also so byte b comma c there are two variables b and c with the data type byte short s int a long distance okay then we are having floating uh, point data type which is allowing me to store any real number with a decimal point okay as well as any number with the exponential uh, we are having normally like sine cosine in our mathematics these number always produce a result which is in a decimals so we can store a result of such mathematical expressions inside float so floating data type uh, which are there one is a double and one is a float float if you see 
smallest one in that 32 bit requires to store one float number ranging with this approximate range then double any large number which we can store which takes 64 bit space and the approximately range is given over here okay so <clears throat> we are having declaration of it like this float high temperature low temperature and double area then in non numerical section we are having character suppose if i want to store my blood group my blood group is a okay a positive or a negative if i want to store my name so to st uh, i want to store my address so all these are characters right so characters is a data type which able to hold a single character at a time okay so characters are normally <laughs> unicodes uh, to represent a uh, java is using unicodes to represent a characters now what do you mean by unicodes unicodes are nothing but a international character set in various language provided okay so we are having many language like english we are having french we are having hangul there are n number of language are there and each of them are having character set and all these are coming together to form a unicodes each and every uh, what i can say letter of a particular language is represented by one unicode okay so for example we are having a b c like these are all represented by unicode and that can be stored in a data type character okay now apart from it we are having a sky code also that means each and every letter start uh, which is having a range of 1 to 127 uh, each of them can be represented by some integral value associated with it for example uh, we are having a letter a okay and we are having some ascii value related to it like 65 okay so unicodes as well as ascii is incorporated in character data type so in java character to store a single character we require 60 16 bit okay the range starts with 0 to 65536 now example for it is character ch comma ch2 the next data type which is there which is again non numerical which allow me to store a result of conditional expressions okay now what do you mean by that now certain um, at certain point we are having an expression which gives me either true or false to store such data we are using booleans so it is another primitive data type in java which allow only two possible values one is true and another one is false and to store this true and false we just require one bit okay so how we can uh, use it boolean then identifier found is equals to false now what do you means false is a value assigned to the variable found getting so these are the data types we have seen in java we will see some example how we can use it in a variable okay so let's have a look of that so here we are having some examples of a variables which we can use so let's see some examples of data types and the variables so here i am having three variables with the integer data type so syntax is data type then identifier okay separators can use uh, we can use over here here is a comma separator so that we can able to declare n number of variables okay so int i j k 
as I told you, each Java statement ends with semicolon. Then we are having floating data type over here. Number one and number two. Long, big integer, double, big number. Now if you see how I can give the values inside it. Int count is equals to 10. So 10 is a value which will get stored inside a variable count. Similar way, height is equals to 34. So 34 is a value which gets stored inside variable height, which is of which data type? Integer data type. So this is a way we can initialize the data. Now this statement is known as initialization of a variable. Now what do you mean by initialization of the variable? You are declaring the variable at the same time you are giving value to it is known as initialization. If you just compare this statement with this, here I have just declared the variable. That is i, j, k are of type integer but have I assigned any value to them? No. So this is known as declaration of the variable whereas this is known as initialization of the variable. In initialization what we are doing? We are declaring as well as we are assigning value to the variable. Similar way here I have initialized with a float variable a which is having value 3.45 f. Now what do you mean by f? f indicates floating point number. If you are not uh, writing f over here then it will be considered by default as a double. Then here uh, we are having character data type char ch and ch2. If you see here I have given a value. Now this is an integral value I have assigned to the ch1 88. Even if I have told that in character we are storing normally letters or a numbers. Here what it means 88 is a ASCII value of character x in English. Okay. So around 127 characters are there which is having some integral value, a sky value associated with it. So for example, 88 is indicating character X. Then we are having CH2 which is given a value Y. Now always remember character are always stored in a single, uh, always uh, written in a single quote and at a time only one character is allowed inside it okay then we are having boolean b and value given to it is a false now there are few more things we are going to see in this here i am having a variable int x and to which i have given a value 1010 now this is nothing but a binary value okay you know binary is a language which is having combinations of 1010. Now this is 1010 is nothing but a number 10. Okay. In decimals. So any binary number we can store in an integer with the abbreviation 0b at the start, starting of it. Okay. So any binary number we can store with the starting of it should be prefix should be ob uh, sorry 0b then we are having over here a variable x which is showing me decimal places i mean it is showing me decimal uh, decimal indicators like normally we are using comma while writing on a paper but in java we can use underscore to indicate the decimal position okay decimal indicators so here this is a integer value so it's like one one two three then comma four five six comma seven eight nine okay so here hundred position and the thousand position uh is can be indicated by using underscore similar way you can make use of underscore in a binary number and we can store it in inside integer also so here 0b and this is a number and here we are having indicator underscore. Similar way we can make use of underscore in double and floating point number also. So here we can again provide it in the decimal portion also 
as you know float and double are the variables with a decimal point so before decimal point also we can make use of it as well as after decimal point make we can make use of this underscore to just tell the position 100 position 10th position and so on now one more thing you have to understand over here even though we have written this underscore over here but it will get skipped out by our compiler it will get ignored by our compiler while compiling the program it is just to enhance the readability for the variables okay so we have seen in this lecture what are different data types java allows now in next lecture we are going to see how we can make use of these variables and how we can do conversions with this variables. Thank you.